when Jesus rose from the dead and he was with his disciples, they saying, Lord, are you going to restore the kingdom to Israel at this time? And he said, not at this time. It's not for you to know. But the kingdom will be restored to Israel. That's why he told the disciples, he said, y'all going to sit on 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. Now, all the other people are going to be servants of Israel. All those that devoured us and put us in captivity, they're going to be devoured and put into captivity. All those that oppressed us, they're going to be oppressed. That's what the scripture teaches from Genesis to Revelation. The Lord is only coming back for his people, his chosen people that believe the gospel of the kingdom. The Lord is telling Abraham, I'm going to judge that nation that put y'all in captivity. That nation whom they shall serve, I will judge. And then he said, afterwards shall they come out with great substance. Now, a lot of people apply this to when we were in Egypt the first time. And the reason I say first time is because we're in Egypt again. The Lord said, y'all going to go back into Egypt again in ships. That's what happened to us. How did we get here? We didn't come on the Mayflower. We didn't come for a better opportunity. <laughs> We came in slave ships. We came in captivity. Jesus said that you will be led away captive into all nations. <laughs> and Jerusalem will be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. That's what happened to us. The people over in the land called the nation of Israel, they're Gentiles. They've taken over the land by fraud and deceit. Jerusalem is trodden down of the Gentiles. The times of the Gentiles won't be fulfilled until the Lord Jesus comes back. We have been led away captive into all nations. We're in the land of our captivity. People say, that's all you talk. That's what the Bible talks about. That's who we are. But the Lord said afterwards, after this captivity, when it's all over, when it's all said and done, the same way when we came up out of Egypt, <laughs> we had stuff. He said, y'all are going to come up out of here with great substance. We ain't going to be downtrodden anymore. Living from paycheck to paycheck, barely surviving, barely getting by. On, in, in poverty, from sun up to sun down, from the beginning of life to the end of life. A lot of us know what that's like. And some of us, the Lord is blessed. But don't forget where you come from. <laughs> 